I am not joking. I just saw something deadly. Deadly. Let me show you. Guys, I hope it lands somewhere. This is a species I would really like to show to YouTube because it's important. It's a Saturnid and I, it's believe it is actually a male of Lonomia. And if that's true, I have a very nice story to tell. Ah, I just landed. Ladies and gentlemen, let me proceed to tell you a very evil story. A biological horror story that's about death. People getting killed and dying terrible deaths from internal bleeding and hemorrhage, internal hemorrhage syndrome. Let me tell you about one of the most dangerous caterpillars in Brazil, the assassin caterpillar, also known as the Taturana. Let me show you. Today I am going to tell you a story about the most deadly moths in the world. They are called Lonomia or assassin caterpillars. There are many species of them and their caterpillars can be so toxic that they are deadly if touched. In the genus there are two recorded deadly species, Lonomia oblica and Lonomia achelus. The caterpillars have dangerous blood thinning effects and touching a nest of them can lead to organ failure, brain hemorrhage and internal bleedings. For the other species in the genus it is not yet verified if they are deadly or not. It seems to vary per species at least. Lonomia are still very hard to identify in some cases. There are over 33 species and while many of them have color differences and difference in shapes and size, there's also many of them that look extremely similar and are hard to identify. It's hard to separate the species and there are still many new species to science that have never been given names to. In some cases it is only possible to identify them using a DNA test because they are looking so similar. There are about 30 other species of which the toxicity is unknown. Of most of these species of moths it seems some of them are actually more harmless. So it's definitely not true that every Lonomia species can kill you. Some of them are more harmless. That being said, never touch the caterpillars if you are unsure which species you are dealing with. That's like playing Russian roulette. Just like how not all snakes are venomous, it's better not to touch a snake if you don't know if it's dangerous. Some caterpillars are deadly. Yes, it is rare, but never touch caterpillars you cannot identify. If you are unsure, please leave them alone. Especially in tropical rainforest, you never know what you're dealing with. That's horrible, isn't it? If you're in a rainforest, never mess with caterpillars. It can cost you your life. Some of them are very venomous, like a snake. So why am I telling you this? You guessed it. This moth right here is a Lonomia. So is it dangerous? The answer is no. The moths are harmless. It's the caterpillars that will kill you. Despite that, this moth right here is actually one of the moths that these deadly caterpillars turn into. This is a Lonomia. Thankfully, when I was in the forest, I have never found any of the deadly assassin caterpillars here in Brazil yet, and I'm happy for that, because they can be a little bit scary if you just stumble upon them. However, this is one of the many Lonomia species. And the fact that I just found this moth means that somewhere out there in the forest the caterpillars must be there. Oop. Now guys, the moths themselves are pretty harmless and dare I say even cute looking. They are perfectly camouflaged like a leaf and there is no way that they can harm us right now. This is just a fluffy, defenseless, harmless little moth that's not going to hurt anyone. It's safe to touch. But we all know the larvae of these species are horrendous. 
This is quite literally one of the most toxic Lepidopterans on planet Earth. When they are in their larval form. It's funny that such an evil caterpillar transforms in such a charismatic, I suppose cute little creature. Now there is a lot of Lonomia species. There used to be like 12 species until some scientists, I guess, um, used barcoding to describe the bunch more. Bechlin and Meister kind of stink. But to be honest, despite the taxonomic mess, the genus is still... Well, I guess it got larger and more complicated to identify them now. But there is good variety of them when it comes to their shapes, their sizes, their colors. And the number of species distributed through South America. Let me tell you some more, if you are very curious. Well, it's official. We got ourselves one of the deadly moths of Brazil. That's really cool, huh? Sadly, it was a male. Would I be crazy enough to breed them? If we got a female? Of course! <laughs> yes, I have to unlock the evil scientist in me. Anyway, the sun is coming up. So we have to hurry up, because soon it will be time to clean up the moth trap, because it's finished. When the sun is coming up, the moths stop coming. 